What's up everybody? For this Skyrim Real Estate episode, I'm featuring Hill House. So this is a great necromancer or vampire themed home that it is just to the west of Solitude. So here's Solitude. And then on a the little island here in the marsh area, you'll find the house on the north face of the little island. So there's a big rock where Solitude's located on. And here's the outside of the Hill House. So to get access to the home, you have to find the key to the house and there's a note outside the door that'll direct you to a couple of graves of the owners Mr. and Mrs. Hill or Lord and Lady Hill right here and you can get the key from this coffin and then once you got the key you can enter the house now there's two parts to the house there's the smithy part and the normal house part so we'll go check out the smithy first this is what the outside looks like pretty simple So it's kind of a big estate home, kind of a large manor, really. So inside the smithy, it is a smithy, of course. It has all the essential crafting places, such as a forge, smelter, workbench, tanning rack, grinding stone, plenty of weapon racks as well. So this part of the home is separate from the main part, so it's in its own little cell. Then up here you got some neat crafting, or I should say, storing locations for weapons and armors. And all of the item storage in this mod, or in this house, I, I should say, is named. So for example, this would be two-handed weapons, bows, one-handed weapons, you have cloth armor here, or light armor, cloth armors, and then heavy armors. So of course, you don't have to store stuff in a named spot but you always have that option too, so it can be organized. All right, now we'll go check out the main part of the home. All right, so immediately once you enter, you notice that there's a definite vampire or necromancer thing. Got a bunch of skeletons that are equipped in full plate armor, with swords. It's got a couple of gargoyles and spider webs, leaves on the floor, plants growing all over the place. Dining room, the cool fireplace, right next to the kitchen. One cool thing about the mod is that there's plenty of interactable objects, such as the table that you can set and reset. And pretty much throughout the mod, whenever there is a sink, there is a water that you can activate, or I should say, a water pump that you can turn on or off, either for hot water, cold water, like in the bathroom, or the kitchen sink. All right. So on this side of the house, there's a little bit of a library and an organ that you can play. This is pretty cool. So plays a little sound bite. Here's the enchanting room and alchemy lab. Very nice room that's decorated very well. And again, throughout the mod, there is named storage for items. So you can easily sort and organize your stuff. All right. So up these stairs is the bedroom part of the mod. Definitely got an eerie atmosphere going on. Perfectly fit for necromancers or vampires. And I believe the main theme of this mod is for vampire characters. So here's a guest bedroom with several beds. Here's an example of you can turn lights on or off if you want to see better for some of the interactable objects in the mod. Here's a bathroom. And again, you can turn on or off water like so. Shower as well. Nice bathroom. And to the left is the big bedroom for the character. Or I should say, for you. The player character, that is. Big, spacious bedroom. Here you got a little walk-in closet that's also kind of like a study. This is pretty cool. So, there's a lot of attention to detail with this mod. As well as a few new assets 
that I haven't seen before, such as a lot of these paintings I've never seen before. I think they're actually like real life paintings that were made in the 16 or 1700s, I'm not too sure, but they are pretty unique. And tons of details, such as these dragons and other figurines on different parts of the mod that have kind of like a dust-like texture to it, which is like a really faint snow texture, I believe, but it makes it look like it's dust, so kind of get this sense of it being really old and the house just being pretty much left alone for quite some time. Anyways, that's it for the inside part of the house. And again, on the outside, I'll just showcase a little bit more. We got a little stables area right here with a wood chopping block. I forgot to feature that in the very beginning. So again, this mod is called Hill House. The hill part is kind of funny because it's, it's on a hill, of course, and the landowners were called the hills. So that's why it's called Hill House. Anyways, that's it for the Skyrim Real Estate episode. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to endorse the mod if you like it, and subscribe to my channel to see more Skyrim videos like this one. See ya.